Hey everyone, Creative Inners here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial and today we will learn how to design this beautiful presentation slide. So here is the first step and you can see I have placed these small circles as a color palette. So we will fill a gradient background here which is pretty simple. We need two gradient stops and we can pick the colors from this color palette that I have created. I have also placed the final output at the bottom left so that you can match it with the uh, the flow so now we have moved the color palette outside of the slide area and you can change the gradient angle as well the gradient direction now let's insert a rounded rectangle and yeah one more thing please subscribe to our channel join membership if you haven't Please do that now this will really support us now remove its outline and fill the gradient color and use color scheme from the color palette change the direction from top to bottom let's add one more gradient stop here and pick any of the color and our focus is to make it look good so for that what we have to do is we have to add some more layers over it and for that let's place it at the left reduce its size i think it is looking fine now slightly adjusting the height and width now duplicate it and we will create few layers to add the light effects and add some you know realistic glossy look on the shape for that you have to insert this triangle duplicate it we need two copies of it and we need two copies of the rounded rectangle make sure both rounded rectangles are well aligned and you can use the align option or the guides Now you have to select the rounded rectangle and the triangle and go to merge shapes and press intersect and you will get the shape like this. You have to align it with this rounded rectangle and give the same treatment to the second rounded rectangle and the triangle and again you will get a shape like this. Now you have two overlay shapes and we have to play with the colors here. So you have to be creative here to try and test you have to play with the gradient color schemes use some white you have to increase its transparency 200% on the second gradient stop on the first gradient stop what I have done is I have filled blue color similarly on the second gradient stop fill a different blue tone and on the second gradient stop increase the transparency to 100% and you can also move the sliders the gradient stops as well to try and test on the rotating rectangle i am thinking of radial gradient what else we can do here i think this is fine let's add some reflection in the form of circles remove outline fill gradient colors use the colors from the color palette only and on the second gradient stop increase the transparency to 100% on the first gradient stop you can play with the transparency level and you will get a circle like this similarly duplicate this circle and let's see where we can place it I am just experimenting with the gradients here. I think this is fine. We have grouped all the items. Now apply the shadow effect here. Increase its blurness, transparency. And now insert
an icon here and we are we want to add a nice icon for that you have to insert this plus sign we only need plus signs from the icons a fill white color reduce its size So we need plus sign plus some lines. Line we can create. Add an outline on this plus sign so that it becomes more visible. Now we can duplicate it like three to four times. And you can place these randomly. And now go to shapes insert a line and we need to change the line style here you can change the dash type here adjust the width color and you can also change the join and cap type to round and place the line here and now we need to insert an icon here so here is the icon and you can move these symbols around this icon and make sure you have covered all the sides of the icon and you can place these randomly remove this extra plus sign but let's place it like here I think here it's fine group these together and duplicate and place it here slightly reduce the size by dragging it from the corner while holding the shift key adjust the gradient a bit so that this icon becomes visible move this reflection circle down further increase its transparency and now you have to adjust the gradient stop on these two overlays as well adjusting the gradient sometimes take more time because you have to adjust the transparency and you have to test the gradient stops their positions until you get the desired result so it's a kind of subjective thing it's not that you have to follow the same settings that i'm doing or i am following you have to create your own styles now let's add the text here the shape is done and here also you can try different text styles as per the information you want to showcase you can add some small pointers, some stats, some number, or just uh, some heading. So here is the heading, uppercase, I'm using monster at semi bold, it's a free Google font. Change the text color to blue. Now insert a line here. And on the line you have to add a gradient line for that you have to fill the gradient uh, for the gradient line you need three gradient stops fill the same color on all the three stops and increase the transparency to 100% on first and third gradient stop the second gradient stop should be at 50% and you will get this beautiful effect on the line it's the both both the edges of this line are transparent I duplicate this line and you can align it like this you can group it now you can group all the items together and your shape is almost done make sure it's center aligned I go to insert add small description here 
you can write description i'm writing a very important text here that please subscribe to our channel join the membership hit like you can share the videos with your teams or your friends colleagues if you're a student you can share the videos in your class and do not forget to download this template from the G drive link provided in the video description you just have, you have to open that link and click on the download button I've seen that many of you guys click on the edit button on Google Drive so you have to click on the download the slide will be downloaded now you can add some call to action as well for that I have inserted this icon arrow icon and let's place it here and now you can add a call to action text here like discover more learn more explore slide number 19 link and you can increase the character spacing make it all caps and place it like this make sure both these items are at the center of this rounded rectangular shape align center now insert this circle like this fill black color on both the gradient stops use path gradient type increase the transparency on the second gradient stop and move it towards the first gradient stop like you can keep it at 70% and you will get a shadow effect like this reduce its size and place it here do not forget to remove its outline and you can increase the transparency the shadow should look natural and now your shape is complete and you can similarly create a number of shapes and then you can change the icon the text and everything so the steps are repetitive and that's the beauty of powerpoint where you can reuse the components to create something meaningful so the slides design is complete and you can see it's looking really beautiful and that's all we need and you can try different colors as well i've done it with blue color so here's the final output and it looks really amazing so you can try different corporate colors as well as per the theme of your presentation or the topic you can add some nice dark background as well you can play with it add some animation so we'll see you guys in our next video till then bye bye thanks enjoy and please subscribe